Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leetcode called Roman 2 Integer. Now this problem is part of the Leetcode 150 playlist and I have that link down below. And I have every playlist linked down below as well as Blend75 and Leetcode75 if you're following along for any of those. But for this question, we are given Roman numerals and they're represented by seven different symbols and their corresponding values are these. And what we want to do essentially is given a Roman numeral, convert it into an integer. Now feel free to pause this, read all of this in depth, but basically all we want to do is for every symbol that we come across, just keep adding that to our total. So if we come across an X and then I, I, and X is 10, I is one. So X, I, I will be 12. And they're usually always written from largest to smallest when you read left to right. However, there are certain cases when that is not true. For example, with four, instead of writing four I's, we're going to write I, V. All this means is we want to subtract one from the five. So we're going to get a total of four. Now this is true for six other instances when we have an I before a V or an I before an X. So we would get either four or nine or an X before an L and X before a C. So typically we would have had a 50 or a hundred, but we're just going to subtract X from that. So we're going to get 40 or 90 and same with C with D and C with M C is a hundred. So we're just going to subtract that from our total value. So a hundred minus 500 is 400, hundred minus a thousand is 900. So example one over here, we have three I's summing that together. We get three example two. We have L V I I I L is 50 V is five and I's are all three that total sums to 58. Now example three, we have M C M X C I V. Now taking a closer look at this example over here, we have a Roman numeral. We want to convert to an integer. The main thing we want to keep in mind is we're always going to go from the largest value to the smallest, except when we want to subtract. So starting at the beginning right over here, we have M, which is a thousand. So our total right now is a thousand and I'm pulling up this table so we don't lose track of all the values. So we just were at M over here. Now our next value is C. Typically we would add its value, which is a hundred to our total, but this value is less than the next character's value, which means we just want to subtract C from M. This is part of one of our rules. We should be getting 900. So instead of subtracting C from M and then adding that total to total, we can just directly subtract from our total. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract C from my total. So a thousand minus a hundred puts us at 900. Now going back in this loop, we're at M again. And every single time, the only thing I want to check is if we are less than the character in front of us, that is not true. X is 10 and M is a thousand. So we can just go ahead and add this. So right now we're at 1,900. So all we really need to do is loop through our input S and just compare our character to the character in front of us. If our value is less, we're going to subtract our value from the total. If not, we're just going to add it. And in the end, we just return that total. So we're going to keep doing this for every single character in S, stopping at the second to last character, because remember, we want to compare our value with the one in front of us. If we're at this last character, there is nothing to compare in front of us. So we're going to stop early. So for I in range length of S minus one, we're going to check if S of I is less than S of I plus one. Now at this point, this is just the character we have at index I in string S. So in order to see what the value at that character is, we're just going to store all of this in a dictionary. So I is going to be one, V is five, X is 10, L is 50, C is hundred, D is 500 and M is a thousand. All these values over here. So all the keys are the characters and the values are the values of that character. So we just need to check what the value in our dictionary for these characters are. So if D of S of I is less than D of S of I plus one, we know we're no longer reading largest to smallest. So we want to subtract the value we have at this index. So total minus equals D of S of I else. If that is not the case, we're just going to add to our total. So total plus equals D of S of I. So we just finished this iteration over here. We're going to go back in our for loop. At this point, we're at character X. We make a check against the character after us. Now X, which is 10 is less than C, which is hundred. So we're going to subtract this value from our total. So total right now was 1,900. We're going to subtract 10 from that. This becomes 1,890. So we go back in this loop, move I down. We're now at C. Now D of S of I, which is hundred, is this less than D of S of I plus one? No, 100 is not less than I. So we can go ahead and add hundred to our total. So we're at 1,990 going back in this loop. Again, we make a check one is less than five. So we're going to go ahead and subtract one from our total. To go back in this for loop, we're going to stop because we want it to range up until length of S minus one. The length of S is seven. Length of S minus one is six. So we're going to go up until six, not including it. So we don't include this very last index over here. 
which means we still want to go ahead and add it on to our total. So what we're going to do is total plus equals D of S of I. And we know we want to add because there's nothing in front of us. There's nothing for us to subtract from. This is not a special case. We need something greater in front of us in order to do that. So once we do this, we can add in whatever we have at this last index. And this should actually be minus one to represent what we have in this last index. So adding five to this, we get 1994. And if we see that is exactly what we were expecting. So let's go ahead and clean up this code, initialize this to zero, get rid of our example, turn at the end, so return total, and go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now talk about space and time complexity. We're going through every single character in S, so that is going to be O of N if there are N characters in S. And for space, we're only storing seven symbols, so this is going to be constant O of 1. It's not dependent on how large S gets. So we just went ahead and solved a Roman 2 integer. If you have any questions, of course, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. And if this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.